up. Um, and then I'm gonna pop over to my webcam. All right, so assuming you found something in your house, we're gonna kind of do what we did last week. Um, I'm gonna say pick an area on there. In this case, I'm starting with the hand. And I'm gonna try to not lift my pencil off the paper too often. Now, is this gonna lead to some distortion? Yeah, it is. But that's okay. Because really what you're doing here is you're exercising your intense focus at least for the first half of this, all right? Now, as I look under this hand, I got a little divot that makes where the sleeve goes. And I've got almost a cuff like it's fat. I should be going a lot slower in a contour line if you need to get, go back and draw over an area, you can always change the pressure. And this one's interesting because really what's going on is I am trying to draw these sculpted folds within the cloth. And a lot of times when I'm holding something this close, um, your eyes get confused. You're like, well, wait a minute, what, what am I actually seeing here? It seems to be bouncing around. Um, what you need to do then is kind of close one eye because that will allow the image to flatten. And as I go up over this guy's big honking forehead, I see his eyebrow. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a breach over to the other eyebrow. And then I'm going to see that his whole eye is set in these big, chubby, honking cheeks. And that this eye actually is weird. Like, I never realized how monstrous this guy looks. Because I never really tried to draw him before. He's kind of a cartoon version of what somebody might think a monk should look like. All right. They didn't even bother to color his lips differently. All right. Boom, boom. Then I come up and I start to draw the other side. So this is what I've got so far. Um, yeah, it's not 100%, but it shouldn't be 100% because I'm trying to keep my pencil on my paper to help my concentration. That, and when you really look at this thing, he is absolutely frighteningly hideous. Like he's got one pupil that's smaller than the other. Wow. Okay. So you get the general idea. Now, at the top of his head, yes, there are some white highlights. If you see those highlights, you should really outline those highlights. So grab your paper, find your object, whatever that object's going to be today, and start drawing. Um, we're going to do these as time drawings. So if you don't get done with the entire thing within like the 10, 15 minutes I'm giving you for each one, don't be worried. You know, I'd rather see part of it look good than the whole thing trying to be finished. All right. And I went a little fast on mine. Yeah, I went really fast on mine. So we're going to try to do at least two different drawings today. Um, I do expect you guys to be submitting these drawings. So I have something to grade. <laughs> 